Hey, what's up, my little YouTube dudes? Welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. So, um, welcome to Chef Salvin episode 7. Um, today I'm going to be making fruit popsicles. What you're going to need is um, some popsicle molds, a knife, a cutting board, a spoon, and an apple butter. And then you're going to need two apples, two peaches, and two nectarines, and some honey. So what you're going to do first is you're going to cut, um, use the apple slicer and slice one of the apples and then take all the pieces out, put them in the blender, you're also going to need a blender. And then after that you just close the blender and then Okay, so once you're done cutting up all your fruit and they're all blended together, what you're going to need next is some orange juice. You're going to put about half a cup in there. Like that. And then what you're also going to need is one, like, um, one full tablespoon of honey. Like that. And then once you're done putting both of those in there, you're going to blend it up some more. Okay, so once you're done blending up all the fruit and um, honey and orange juice and stuff, whatever, um, you can start filling your um, popsicle molds until they get about to like maybe here, like this line right here. Kind of depends on the type of popsicle mold you have, though. So you just gotta fill them up all the way like this. It's like about four or five, maybe six spoons, and then. You just cover it with one of the um, sticks, and then you just fill the whole thing, and then put it in the freezer for a couple hours at least. Okay, so once you fill all of them, you just close them with their caps. If you can see, there are actually these little like drippings here. Um, I actually recommend keeping those there. It will be easier to check if the things are frozen or not without actually having to take it out. So, yeah. So you just put them in the freezer. Wait at least a couple hours so they can be fully frozen. And then, so that's how you make popsicles. And then I'm going to be showing you guys something else too. Okay, now that the um, popsicles are in the freezer, I actually had some leftover stuff in the blender. So I added some more summer peaches in there. And then I added a little bit more honey and some lemon juice. And now we have a dehydrator. Over here we got some... Um, plums, nectarines, peaches, apples, um, and then what you would do with this, you take this over here, you, like first you put this on top over here, we make the pieces a little bit bigger than usual because they shrink down a little bit, and then what you would do with this one, you spray it like a little bit with Pam, like very lightly, and then just put the liquid into here slowly. And then just let it spread out. Just make sure it goes everywhere on the pan thing. So I got two nice trays of summer fruits here and then two nice trays of the fruit roll-ups they're nice and flat now and then i'm going to make a couple separate videos after this one one of them is going to be the finished product of the fruit popsicles because those take at least a couple hours to freeze and then after that one i'm going to make a separate video of the finished product of these because these take at least a couple days to dehydrate we got the dehydrator thing on here the fruits and vegetables, they um, are on 135 degrees, so what you do, just stack them up on top of each other like that, and then like that, and then you just plug in the dehydrator, just put on top, and just wait. So I think I'll 
see you guys in my next video, which is going to be the finished product of the fruit popsicles. And then after that will be the finished product of these. So see you all later in my next video.